Hey guys, my name is Mac, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can save files as a .csv file on the iPad. It's a super useful functionality that the iPad is capable of, and it's super useful to know. So uh, without further ado, um, a CSV file, comma separated value file, it's a delimited text file, and it uses commas to separate values within the file. These files are commonly used to upload lists and stuff like that, um, it, and it's a common language in between many different pieces of especially web-based software um, that's capable of reading strings. Because of this, CSVs are super popular and they're incredibly important file type to be able to use and save in in case you need to you know, upload lists or anything like that um, online, especially uh, in marketing. The first mistake that I made was thinking that I would need to download the Excel app in order to you know, manipulate my typical .xl CSV file and then just be able to export it the way I would on the Mac or on a Windows computer. Um, but as you can see, and I've got a little sample file here, as you can see, it's called textbook, test book. If you open it up in Excel, um, files app, test book, you can see that you can see the data here fine and you can manipulate it and use the app totally fine. But if you go into your share options, you can see that there's actually no way to change the file type here for when you share, just have to keep a local copy or not upload it. And if you go over here to your file options tab, you can see that there is an export tab here and you can choose different file types, but the only ones that are available are .ods and a .pdf file type, so not .csv, which is what we're looking for. So what's the actual solution on the iPad? Well, the answer is actually the numbers app. So this is like the iOS and Mac OS version of Excel that Apple has developed. And it's actually really robust. I had no idea because it's essentially the same thing as Excel and it can read .xlsv files. So if you go over the numbers app and open up the same one, as you can see here, .xlcsv, open it up. Give it a second there. Boom, it has opened it up and you will be able to manipulate it in the exact same way that you would um, in the Excel app. However, when you go over to your share options, right there or in your export options sorry boom that csv is one of the file types that you can actually send it out as so if you click that csv test book csv share um, save to files is where we want it let's say we put it in a drive right in the home place click save so now when we go to the file app we should have another version of that that is a csv here, I believe this is our .csv. Um, .csv, there you go. And there you have it. You have just saved a .xlcsv file as a .csv file. In which you... Anyways, guys, I hope that was useful for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be learning more and more stuff on the iPad as I go on. So hopefully there'll be more and more tutorials of this nature as I learn to replace my complete computer with this iPad solution. But um, if you guys want to stick around for that journey, don't hesitate to subscribe and like the video below. So thanks very much. Hopefully this was useful to you guys.